Mr. Speaker, this government has been vociferous in defending their legislative and policy agenda, alleging they're protecting the environment while supporting economic development. But these claims are roundly discredited even by their own expert panels, who report that public credibility in federal processes for reviewing and approving major energy projects is seriously broken. Significant environmental impacts are being given short shrift, including to transboundary waters, indigenous right and title, threatened species and habitat, and to feasible, less impacting alternatives. The growing number of lawsuits by indigenous communities offers similar evidence of a deeply eroded trust in the government. Canadians, and particularly impacted communities and indigenous peoples, are demanding a voice well beyond individual projects and reviews. They want a seat at the table to ensure energy law and policy reflects their environment, social, cultural priorities. On World Environment Day, is it too much to hope for real change to finally give Canadians a voice in their energy future? The Honourable Member.